Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mitt flips, where I'm a full-time eBay reseller, and every 100 subscribers there's a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to win. Speaking of subscriber giveaways, we have reached 1,600 subscribers. So that means you will get, you can get entered into a giveaway in this video. Stick around to the end to see how that goes. This one will have more to it than the last ones because I figured out that when you put subscriber giveaway in the title of a video, uh, there are people that just search for that just throughout their day, just go to YouTube and type in subscriber giveaway and enter it that aren't viewers, things, things that, whatever. I'm going to put a little extra in this one. In the subscriber giveaway, what you get is you get $10 towards something in my store. If nobody claims that, that moves on to the next giveaway. Uh, the last one made it up to $40. You also get a couple pins, a couple magnets, a couple stickers, all thanks to the Lowry's. Appreciate them every day. Going to pull just a few items today. It's uh, the Monday after New Year's, and so there there is no shipping today, but I have a bunch of orders, so I want to get a few done while I can. Also, most of this video, I'm going to go over, do like a year-end recap and goals for the upcoming year. First thing going out, B1C is a Monique collection. B1C, oh, it's in the, with the boxes. Um, let me bring the phone with me. That's the easiest. Okay, B1C, which is, all right, it's in a brown box. It is a... Curly number 135. Curly 135 in a brown box. I think this is it. See Sue. Yes. All right. Yes. Right here. It is a Monique collection. See Sue 1213. Dark brown uh, in the cool box with the wrap right there. For how well the wigs have been going, the higher end ones, or not always higher end, but the ones in the boxes have been selling much slower. Like almost none. <laughs> But for that one, probably accepted an offer, $20 free shipping. Next thing going out, B3B is a tech deck. B3B, and you might have heard me mention, or remember mentioned a couple videos ago, right here, it's a little Tony Hawk tech deck skateboard uh, that somebody asked if they could pay. They sent out the offer on a Wednesday, which I accepted, for... Um, 1533 free shipping. And then they asked if they could pay. It was a Wednesday. They asked if they could pay the next Friday, which I said no. They ended up paying, I don't even remember, but it ended up not being a problem for me because of all the weird holidays. You know, last Monday was a non shipping day, this Monday, a non shipping day. That it's just been sitting sold for days and days. I think they ended up paying on Thursday night and I didn't have to ship anything Friday, something like that. So it's been an extended period. So that's what they get. But either way, 1533 free shipping, they ended up paying. And then next up, glad to see this one go. It is a Daewoo VCR. And I think it's buried behind my amp here, which it is, it's down there. I won't get it out right now. This is the heaviest VCR I've ever had my hands on. And I mean, including DVD VCR combos. And this is just a VCR. It is old, it is loud. It's like a piece of machinery. I know a VCR is a piece of machinery, but when you pick it up, it's an electronic. They're plastic, they're not, it's not like picking up something from a warehouse, like a machining tool. This thing is like a heavy piece of machinery. It's very metal, everything is metal. I don't know, De Daewoo, uh, funny story, they make a lot of things. My first car, Daewoo engine. My friends would make fun of me because that's the same thing that they put in lawn mowers, but I had a very tiny car, so it made sense. Twenty-one, twenty-four plus shipping. I have started. I started uh, last week, and I'm going to continue. My older items will be going. Uh, I did twenty-five percent off my five hundred oldest items. I will do that every other sale until I feel comfortable with how many older items are gone. I'll keep increasing it, 26, 27, until I clear out some of that stuff. Because if it hasn't sold now, for some of it, it's time to go. And that's one of my big things looking forward to this year. My focus is going to be very much on sell-through rate. I need to get my sell-through rate up. I was always before focused on, I need to just list, 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 everything else by the wayside. But when we started filling up the store, 
when the dollar values in the store started climbing and climbing and climbing, but the sales dollars weren't climbing and climbing and climbing consistently, then I need to make an adjustment. And that adjustment is I'm going to, I'll probably accept a few more lowball offers. I'll probably send out a few lower offers. I'll run some more aggressive sales, but I, I need to have a more, basically until shipping becomes an issue where I can't keep up with the shipping, I need to be selling more things. And so anything I can do to make that happen is what I'm going to do. Next up, C5A. Oh, okay. I didn't think it had a number, but it does. C5A7 is Global Dolls Strawberry Blonde. C5A7. Just bring it with me. Global Dolls. Here we go. Right there. It's a, uh, yeah, strawberry blonde, straight hair. And for that wig, $11.89 free shipping. And then next thing out, this got caught up in that sale, and I'm glad this I thought would never sell. B3A, it's Organics Fine Vine Activated Charcoal. B3A Fine Vine Activated Charcoal. I got this in a mystery box that I got from, you might know, WBK Ultra. Got a reseller channel. He's he's one of the more uh he would be out of like the second wave of reseller channels. You know, he's not he's not he's no Craigslist hunter, but um but he's I think he's in that second wave. It's kind of like the rate rake and profit wave, like that second wave. But I bought a mystery box from him and it was it was garbage. It was dog do. And the only reason I bought it was to make a video. I was like, okay, if I break even, maybe I'll you know we'll get some views. This was back earlier in my channel and it was just dog do you know things with batteries in them corroded that i just had to trash the only thing that i was excited about there was a playstation one game in it that was worth like 50 bucks that i think he was banking most of the value of the hundred dollar box on uh but the, the disc was warped it was trash I, I think i sold the case and made a couple bucks but that was also in there and i still have quite a few things from that box it was a total waste of money but when i reached out to him about the batteries, he like explained how to clean battery acid. I was like, that's all I'm looking for, man. Like, and then I unsubscribed his channel. I was done. I was like, no, nope, no, nope, that's the way you want to handle yourself. No, I, I don't want any part of that. Nothing against them. Just that was that was the end of our relationship. Like there was one. Eight forty nine free shipping on that. Glad to see it go. And I'm gonna pull one more. A two is a Mister. Dudley pepper mill wooden pepper mill and it's a large one. I'll check the listing But I think it's uh, 20 inches 18 inch I was gonna say that too and I was like no it looks bigger but right there 18 inch pepper mill large Oversized pepper mills. There's good money in them name brand mon ones great money certain name brands But there is a lot of them. So you have to make sure your keywords are right this one I've had listed for an extensive period of time lowered the price multiple times then I think it also was on sale, but it's the shipping. It's expensive to ship, it's a, a taller item. It won't cost that unless it's going international, um, which it doesn't appear to be. So maybe California is still gonna be expensive, but I'll make a few dollars on the shipping. $23.99 plus $25 shipping. Unless my measurements are wrong in the listing and that got caught, got caught up in the overage charge for USPS, but that doesn't make sense either. I don't think that's possible. I'll find out when I go to ship it. But all in all, larger pepper mills, keep an eye out for them. Pepper mills in general, I, I tend to pick up. Salt and pepper mill combos, things like that. But the, the market is very saturated, so you do have to kind of know what you're doing. Keywords got to be good. Pictures have to be good. Your listing's got to be on point when you're in a saturated market. That's one of those items that you probably want promoted listings. I promote everything. I tried, I tried not promoting. I did the math about a week ago. The amount that promoted listings cost me in dollars, I would have to, I have to sell, this last year I had to sell an extra by average cost of good, average uh, sold price. I had to sell an extra, it was like 32 items to cover the cost of all the promoted listings I'd paid for. Do I think promoted listings got me? To, the, to an additional 32 listings to cover that, 100% I think it did. But a lot of my stuff, it's when I was repricing, I would see I'm the only one listed. So you shouldn't have to promote that. But I deep in my bones believe that 
because promoted, the only thing it's supposed to do is move you up to the top. I believe deep that if you don't promote your listings, not the individual listings, but your store itself gets buried by eBay in the algorithm. I think by being a promoted lister, eBay bumps your store up in the algorithm. I'm just going to go on that. I have nothing to back that up uh, except for testing. When I turn my promoter listings off, sales go to zero, minimal at best. And when it's on, they're normal. Not that they get better, but they stay normal. When I turn it off, they go to bleh, nothing. All right, I got to turn the heat off, which is always a good thing. I like when that happens. I don't like being sweaty, but I also like saving money. You know that. So let's go ahead and do a quick recap of how last year went. And if you don't know how to check this out for yourself, you go into your seller hub and then you just go to sales and you can pick how your report gets generated. I'm going to do last year because it is 2023. So I'm going to do last year, 2022 compared to 2021. Also, it's a new year, new quarter. That means eBay coupons are out. I will be using mine today. I will be getting some eBay boxes. I don't need poly bags from them ever again because I found a place I like the poly bags from. I'll keep buying those. Link, I think, in the description. It'll be there before this video comes out. But like the eight by six by four, I think is what it is. I like those. I I want them again. I tried to find cheaper ones. I, I couldn't. I wanted like really cheap, just junky ones to put hats in. Couldn't find them. So expensive eBay box it is, but with the coupon code, who cares? I'm rambling. I'm not going to tell you any dollars because my life is not your life. My goals are not your goals. What it takes to keep myself and my family financially stable and happy, it's not the same as you. I, I don't, I see a lot of times in comments, people will compare themselves or like, oh, you're not, they'll like make fun of their numbers or their sales or the sell through rate or how much money they're making, all this kind of stuff. And when you're watching those videos, you're not trying to get exactly what somebody does you try to get their process then you put that into your job your life make yours better i don't know it just seems to be a lot of a lot of hate out there still 2023 let's 2023 the year no hate let's get rid of the hate <laughs> coming from somebody who hates so many things all right so total sales this well I keep saying this year because it was two days ago but total sales in 2022 we're up 45.7% from the previous year. That's a climb. I My hope was to increase by 25%. Crushed it. Now, here's something that's really great. Net sales. So, minus selling costs, taxes, shipping, fees, all of that. Up 50.3% from last year, from the previous year. And why that number is larger is because I quit selling big items. Big items that cost a bunch in shipping, a bunch in fees. Therefore, my net sales went up. Now, for those of you who go, oh, you sell these low dollar items, you know, how are you gonna make any money, blah, blah, blah. Average sale price per item, $29.61. So even though I have a large number of small dollar items, still not, still not even, crack in my average, which is up 4.5%. So I add all of these low dollar items and still increased my average sales. I mean, my average sale price by four and a half percent. I don't foresee that one going up because it's 2961 average sale price. That's probably, you know, if it, if it goes up a percent, down a percent, that's, that's good. That 25 to 30, that's that's perfect for me. I don't I don't need it to be any higher than that. If it did, that shoots up to you know 35 average this year. That means I had a great year. Quantity sold up 39.5%. That I do want to go up. I want that to go up a significant amount. Significant this year. What else is good? Sales via auction, zero. Zero auctions, zero dollars, zero auctions. I don't do auctions. And my rule with auctions is if I run an auction is because I want it gone and I don't care how many dollars I get for it, which that criteria is met almost no times. And when it is met, those items just don't sell. They end up in the garage sale anyways. Now, as far as a breakdown, I did this about halfway through the year because I was surprised to find out 13.42% 
Not a shock is clothing, shoes, and accessories, and that's because of the shoes. I had, you know, 80 pairs of $75 to $500 shoes. That's, that's going to really skew that in that direction. But again, got to get back to the books and magazines. Now, it's, that's the category. We got to get back to selling books, listing books, because books and magazines, 6.6% of my total sales. That's a huge, huge chunk. And then the only thing of note, toys and hobbies, that'd be board games and toys. I sell a lot of toys. And then video games and consoles. That makes sense. I'll, I don't I don't sell them as often as I used to because the market's pretty low, but I get three times a year a big wave of multiple consoles and games and stuff, so that's that makes sense as well. Oh, and actually, because they separate them out a little bit, video games, there's a second one, uh, so that's actually more like 5%, and then clothing and shoes, there's an additional 1%, so that's actually 1.5%, so clothing and shoes is actually 15%. So... I will actually need to replace that with something because I don't intend on finding another shoe collection like that. And I don't source clothes. I source shoes mostly because the easy to list comparatively because pants and shirts, you need more, more space or more setup for it. Shoes, I can put them in my normal area, but I will need to replace that with something. I'm hoping pens. Hoping I'm hoping I finally find the jackpot. I find a good source for them. Something like that. And then nothing really else of note there. As far as total sales, I would like a increase. That increase could be minimal. 5%. That'd be fine. If that's all I got, I would still be happy with the year. I suspect it'll be somewhere closer to a 20% increase. Just because the more you do it, the better you get at it. The more those... You know, you, you have items that are listed from two years ago. That's a cumulative. Now, other goals. Saw the other day, or read the other day, or heard the other day. <laughs> Not really that important how I got the information. But it takes 21 days to break a habit or build a habit. So one of my goals for this year is not a resolution. I made a resolution 15 years ago to never make a resolution again. And I've stuck by it because if I want to make a change in my life, why would I wait till the new year? Just do it. Start today. If tomorrow you fail, start again that next day. But it takes 21 days to build a habit or break a habit. So I would like to set a goal to implement six new good habits into my life, which means I can fail six times and still make my goal. So I'm not making it unachievable. I'm going to work at it every day. I'm going to fail some of those days. I'm going to fail some months, but I'm making the goal achievable. I'm going to set simple, easy goals to go for. I'm going to try to accomplish one of them at a time. What I'm working on right now is I need to start exercising more. I started when I wake up in the morning, I do some squats, I do some push-ups. Nothing crazy, just trying to build a habit. I have, uh, I started 10 days ago. I've done it probably five of those days. Couple of the days, I had snow to shovel. I figured that was a, I could take the day off for that. Good exercise first thing in the morning. It's actually terrible exercise because you're hunched and whatever, but he could, I mean, physical activity. So that's the one I'm going to try to knock off first. I figure it's the easiest one to accomplish. The goal is, the bar is very low. I just got to wake up and do it. And then hopefully after I consistently do it for 21 days in a row, then it's a habit. I never have to think about it again. It's just something that I do and I'll move on to the next one. Another goal, I I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I would like to do it soon, is that I would like to finish the garage off a little more and finally get my computer down here. It's, it's really a hiccup in the progress of my day, hiccup in the progress of my business, um, because my office is right next to the kid's bedroom. Thea takes naps and she goes to bed early. I can't just sit at my computer late at night and get some work done. It's just, I need it. I need it to be in my own space. That one's going to be difficult. That one's going to cost money. Not my favorite. Uh, goals for YouTube. I think I'm going to start making less videos, hopefully better videos, and hopefully more videos I enjoy. I not saying I don't enjoy the ones I make now, but I would like to make some more fun videos. I have an idea for one. It's going to be a while till I make it, so so I don't want to tell anybody. So somebody goes out there and makes it and then, 
you know, what a waste. But I, when it comes time for that, I'll need your help anyways, so I'll, I'll bring it back around. And I guess to kick off the year, tip of the day. And the tip of the day, which I'll probably do it tonight, is do an inventory. I know, it's a bummer. It's the worst. If you have custom SKUs, it's not that bad. We did one last year. At that point, had eight, 900 items in the store. Jen and, us, Jen and I working together. It took us an hour, hour and a half. Not that bad. We found six items and about $300 worth of value that wasn't listed. So was that worth the hour to two hours that took? Yes, very much. That's that's money sitting around, taking up space. That's wasted, wasted space, wasted inventory. It's just, yes, totally worth it. Do an inventory. No, it won't be fun. But what will happen is if you do it and it's terrible, you will implement a system that makes it not so bad the next year, like using custom SKU numbers, using a category system, all that kind of stuff. There are certain things I skip. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. The books, I don't even tell you the books. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> if I, if I get to a point where I'm running out of books, maybe I'll check, but should I do all of it? Yes, I should. So that'll bring us back to the subscriber giveaway. And all you gotta do to be entered the subscriber giveaway, subscriber giveaway is be subscribed, like the video, and then let me know if you're going to do an inventory or have done an inventory this year, somehow putting the word inventory in your comment. Now, if I, which I probably will, if I do a premiere, make sure you don't put it in the chat, put it in the comment section or else if you put it in the chat, you won't get entered in. It's gotta be in the comments. Those are two separate areas. And then one last thing before I go, I still have not been able to find documentation on if USPS allows you to use regional rate boxes as regular priority cubic shipping boxes. So I decided I'll be the guinea pig. Even though I've had confirmation from other people, I wanted hard. Here's here it is. Here here's where it says if you're, you know, if your USPS office says no. You can show them this. That's what I was looking for. So now I'm just doing some test runs. I sent one in a regional B. It made it there. They are returning the item because they didn't like it. That's that's neither here nor there. But so far, one successful. So I'm going to go forward with it, assuming it's allowed. That's what I'm going to do until I figure out otherwise, because it's awesome. It's awesome. I'm so mad I wasn't doing it the whole time. It gives me two box sizes that I resize number sevens to constantly. This saves me so much time in my day. I'm gonna order a bunch more today when I order my eBay boxes. I'm gonna move forward, assuming, which I hate assuming, um, sorry, 2023, no hate. I dislike assuming. I'm gonna move move forward assuming that, that I can do it. Well, that's gonna be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Subscribe share and be good to each other. <laughs>